Hello there, my name is An Actual Bear, and this is Hatred. Um, well, <laughs> ever since I saw the first trailer for this game, it looked hilariously bad. Like, the writing is just cringeworthy bollocks, and the whole concept of the game, clearly clickbaity. Um, I mean, they're clearly, the whole concept of the game was basically, how can we cause as much controversy as possible so that we can sell a lot of copies of this game? And they've done a good job of doing that. Uh, they've managed to raise a lot of controversy surrounding this game. Um, lots of news sites have made very over-the-top claims about how violent the game will be and how the, the concept and the premise of the game is just, you know, horrible. And then the game came out a couple of days ago. And it's really tame. Um, like, very tame. Um... It's it, apparently, from what I've heard, it's it's bland, it's poorly made, it's not even all that violent, the writing is hilariously awful. Um, so we're going to dive right in and see what exactly this is going to entail. So, here we go. New game is fine. I've, yeah, we'll turn the tutorial off, I think we'll just dive straight in. Uh, we're going to go for hard mode, but I have heard that this game is like unfairly difficult. <laughs> Um, so I might regret this, but we're going to go for the middle option. And we're going to listen to this great cutscene, which I've... This was from the trailer, I believe, so if I remember rightly, it's hilarious. Hopefully the game will load at some point in the next five years or so. That would be great. So uh, this was made in Unreal 4, by the way. Um... So it has that going for it, which is nice, I guess. But um, from what I can gather... Oh, okay. I'll shut up now. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world. And the human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. <laughs> This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill, and it's time for me to die. Edgy as fuck. My god. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, from what I can gather, the game is like a badly optimized piece of shit, and so far they're not wrong. Um, very lucky if I hit anything over 30 FPS, which is unacceptable for a get for a twin stick shooter that looks good but not great, and it's in black and white for fuck's sake. Dust to dust. <laughs> oh, the voice acting. Uh, yeah, controls-wise, I've I've played better. <laughs> I'll say that it controls pretty badly, actually. So, I can hear cops. So it looks like something is actually going to happen now. Maybe, hopefully, a bit. So I'm just for a Molotov. Oh, hello. I guess the police are here. For some reason, I was stuck on the wall there and couldn't move. The first human shields. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, you can actually turn off the executions because they do, like, I guess because you have to use them to replenish your health. So I can imagine them getting pretty boring after a while. But I do have them turned on for the purpose of this video. You know, I played this game before. It was called Postal and it came out about 15 years ago. No, longer than that maybe. Probably closer to 20 years ago. Nice glitch there. 
Station. This fucking writing is so bad, wow. It is like what a 15 year old would post on Reddit. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> I'm a man of hate and disgust. Who talks like this? Jesus Christ. This game has uh, very positive reviews on Steam, by the way. Which is yet more evidence that the world just needs to be nuked and started again. No more useless words. Because here's the thing, right? It's impossible to be offended when a game is this bad. Like, maybe bad's the wrong word, but bland, right? It's impossible to be mad at a game like this. Because it's so ham-fisted. Like, how can anyone possibly be offended by this? So it's not a case of being offended, I just think the game is shit. And therefore, question why anyone would ever give it a positive review. If you really want to kill innocent civilians that badly, just fucking play GTA 5 or something. Because you can actually do other things. And it's not a shitty twin stick shooter like this. Ah yes, I should probably explain the uh, respawn system. Uh, essentially, you have to do the side objectives to get respawn points. Otherwise, if you don't have any respawn points and you die, you have to start the whole level over again. So, that's just lovely. Okay, how do you throw grenades again? You just press the button. I have no idea. I have also heard the driving controls are awful, so uh, I think we should test this out. Oh dear. Well then. Um, okay, fatal error. Um, apparently driving may have been a mistake. Uh, huh. Okay. Okay, I, I guess I'll try and relaunch the game and get back to the point I was at, roughly, maybe? Uh, back in a minute? <laughs> right, uh, I've decided to go a different way this time. Apparently there is a funeral procession, so I guess we're going to kill them all. Irony! I may have pissed off the police. And I'm dead. Excellent. Uh, I already got one respawn point, I believe. Yes, I did. Yeah, there's not a lot to say about this game. It is very, very bland. I've played worse. Far worse, in fact. Um, but I've also played significantly better. 
And it's not even that violent. Like, this is far tamer than a lot of other games. I remember things like Manhunt, things like Postal, um, things like The Punisher, the 2005 game. Um, th there's been a lot more violent stuff than this, of all things. Uh, you do have to credit the developers, really. Um, they have done a great job of marketing this game. They have essentially made a, a, a very controversial trailer and a very controversial concept. And they've let the news reporters and the journalists essentially do their advertising for them. And this is the result. A very bland twin stick shooter that in any other universe would have been quickly glossed over and forgotten about. Your family won't cry for you. But due to the concept and due to the, the the first trailer and all that kind of thing, it's it's kind of got a life of its own. It was actually the top seller on Steam the day it came out. Um, so I guess well done to the developers. Wow, this guy has a very strong kick apparently. Not since Duke Nukem has someone had a stronger kick than that. I, I keep getting stuck on random shit like that door. That's not good. I will say the uh, physics engine's quite nice. The uh, oh, that car's gonna blow. Oh, and it. Okay, the car did no damage to me. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, it has quite a good physics engine. Um. I mean, that's like the nicest thing I can say about the game, honestly. Like, it's impossible for me to actually say anything else about it because I'm bored out of my skull, honestly. So this is where we were roughly last time, when the game decided to shit itself and crash for no reason. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Uh, why am I stuck on things? I got stuck on a tree. I can't... It's hard to explain how bad the movement controls are. Um, oh great, I'm out of tokens. I have to do the whole level again. Holy fuck. It's hard to explain, um, but it just feels clunky to play. Like, you're getting stuck on random shit in the terrain. Um, I don't know. It's... I'm struggling to think of things to say because, like, this is the kind of game that you'd get in an... Like, the quality-wise, this is the kind of game you'd get in one of those indie bundles where you buy, like, eight games for three quid or something like that. Quid being pounds, I should explain. My name is not um, oh, God, shut up. Can I skip this, please? Thank you. Yes. It's like one of those games where you get it in a bundle, you forget about it for about a year... And then one day, you're looking for your Steam list, you've got an hour to kill, you load this game up, you play it for 20 minutes, you get a bit bored. Oh my god, this act, this this writing is awful. Anyway, um, yeah, it's the kind of game that you'd load up for 20 minutes, get bored, never play it again. And that's how it should have been. This game should have been confined, like forgotten to the annals of time. Um, and it's just not... And it's a shame that this game of all games is getting all the publicity in the world and games significantly better than it don't get half of that publicity. It's very sad. See, that's supposed to be like shocking, but it's not. I've been playing video games my whole life. I've seen a lot worse things than that. Is it supposed to be worse because it's innocent people? Because, again... 
doesn't really make much difference. If, if anything, there's no context to any of it, so it has no impact. I am just shooting pixels at the end of the day. Now, if you gave me a reason to care about those pixels, fair enough. But they haven't. They've done a very bad job of doing that. So, we get this. I also don't like the aesthetic. Um, it looks moody enough, but in terms of actually being practical, it does a bad job. So, okay, G is grenade. That's good to know. Yeah. I'm very bored. Um, the first human shields. Is this guy going to die anytime soon or? I mean, what do I even say at this point? It's like, I've said all I need to say really. It's just boring. Um, it's not even as bad as I was hoping, really. Like, that is the worst insult I can think of. That your game, it isn't even as bad. Like, you can't... How can I put this? I would rather a game be awful than bland. Because at least if it's awful, you can have a laugh with it. It's, it's notable in some way. But this game... It's just not. Like, there's no reason to play this. There really isn't. Plus, I'm trying to pick that up on the table and it's just not happening. Anyway. Yeah, it's... It's like the worst thing it could be, honestly. Like, you can be many things. You can be good. You can be great. You can be amazing. You can be fucking awful. You can be unplayable trash. You can be bad. All of those are fine. The one thing you can't be is boring and bland and unmemorable because you have literally nothing at that point like if I play a game and it's shitty and makes me laugh fine I'd rather it was good of course but if it can't be good at least make it be bad right but this is doing a bad job of doing all of that and that's not good especially for a game that had this much controversy behind it for this to be the end product is just such a anti-climax. But, uh, I don't know. I will try and clear these other two objectives out if we can. Um, if we die again, then tough shit. I guess we'll just have to end the video, because, quite frankly, bored already. Significantly so. Wow, that was very convincing. The writing will never not be funny, though. I will say that. That's the only part about the game that's, like, bad enough to be good, is the hilariously terrible writing and voice acting of the main character. Just terrible. If they'd have gone more in that direction and made it more of a satire, that would have been pretty cool. Like, make it kind of dark comedy satire. That would have been really interesting after all the hype and stuff. But they didn't go down that route. Like, they're, they're being serious with this shit. They think this is edgy. And it's just not. <laughs> it just isn't. It's what a 15-year-old thinks is edgy. And it's coming from grown men. I also don't know why it's not listing me as having ravaged the market because pretty much everyone's dead, right? Oh, no. A lot of dudes over here.
Wow. Yeah, the, the controls are really not good. Um, what? Who talks like this? Anyway, um, as I was going to say, I, I hope you can see kind of how bad the controls are from the video because it is, it's is—it's hard to explain without having actually played it. Um, but like that, I got stuck on that fire hydrant that I could barely see because of the grey colour scheme. And... It just feels clunky. Like, turning doesn't feel good at all. Um, I don't know. It just feels like they... Like, of all the things they could have done, at least make the movement, like, fun to use. Or, you know, the controls make them functional, at least. Okay, seems like finally something else is going to happen. I have a lot of respawn points now. I'm probably going to need one in a minute because I'm quite low. I... Hmm... I don't think that's how the human body would react if if you stomped on their head. I, I'm, I'm not an expert. I haven't stomped someone's head into a mushy pulp uh, like any time recently. It's been a while. But the last time I did it, it took more than three. Um, I can't confirm this. Um, I'll have a, a chat with my sources at some point. But as far as I know, not actually that achievable. Uh, to mush someone's head into a pulp after three stomps. But again, I am not a doctor. Who knows? Perhaps the... Why was that I'm not getting shot? Anyway, perhaps the developers of Hatred are in fact medical professionals and can confirm this. I don't know. We'll have to see. Wow. Okay, enemies with shotguns a tad OP. But you see the controls there. Um... If I put my target on a person and I press fire, I expect said person to, in fact, die. I do not expect them to not be hit by any of those bullets. So, just a, a word of advice for the developers of this, this wonderful video game. Um, the reticule should generally indicate that that's where bullets are going to go. So, if I put that on a man and then click the fire button, I expect those bullets to hit that man. Or at least come close. Not do what that shotgun did and every pellet somehow miss. But, I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Okay, I guess we'll try and finish this level just to say that I did it. But, I really am not interested in the slightest. Nice explosion effects, I will say that. Um, yeah. Pretty good. Good physics engine. Like, there's some good parts to this game. It's just a shame that the game itself is so fucking bland. Okay, I have no grenades left. That would explain why I wasn't throwing any. Oh, you can... That's really cool. Okay, that's actually pretty cool that the uh, you can actually shoot through walls and stuff. Yeah, this might be quite difficult. That's a lot of coppers. Where is this going to send me back to? Wow. Nice respawn. He respawned me right in front of loads of cops. Nice job. Uh, you know what? I can't be asked. Um, the respawn system, if it didn't send you like all the way back there, if it just like respawned you where you were, like a lot of these games would do, um, that would be better, I think. I don't know. That was Hatred. Um, not bad enough to be so bad it's good. Not good enough to be a good video game. It sits squarely in the 4 or 5 out of 10 barrier, whereby you can't recommend the game either way. It's like, if you're a sadomasochist and love playing bad games, 
don't bother. It's not bad enough for that. If you just want to play a good video game, don't bother. It's not good enough for that. Um, and if you just want to be entertained, don't bother because the game is very bland. Um, the controversy was completely overblown. Very well done by the developers in that sense because they managed to take something that really shouldn't have caused this much controversy and make it cause that controversy. So in that sense, pretty impressive. Um, did they succeed in making themselves a lot of money and giving themselves a lot of attention? And did they succeed in selling a lot of copies? Yes. Did they succeed in making a good video game that has some sort of artistic merit to it and furthers the... Not just the genre, but just it furthers gaming in some way and contributes, even if it's only contributed by being a good game. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do any of those things. It merely exists. Um, and in a world where, as I say, games like Postal exist, like Manhunt, um, like the, Pun the Punisher, uh, GTA to an extent, in a world where games like that exist, you can't get away with simply going for the offensive angle. You have to actually make a good game as well. Um, and the developers failed. Uh, they did not make a good video game. They, in fact, made a pretty bad one. Um, but again, not bad enough to be fun or enjoyable in that sense. It was just bland. Like, I'm bored. Very tedious, very frustrating. Uh, bad controls. Um, graphics. Interesting style. But in terms of mechanics, it was a bad idea because you can't see shit a lot of the time. Like you, I, I, I kept getting stuck on little things in the environment I could barely see. Um, that's why I made the... You can actually change the... I'll show you this quickly while I'm talking about it. Why not? This video is long enough as it is anyway. I might as well make it longer, right? Um, if you go here, you can actually change the color of the cross here. The default one was this, which... I mean, look, you can barely fucking see that. You can just see it in the background there. You can barely see it. Like, whose idea was that to make this a default colour? So, thank God you can change it to a different colour. So that you can at least see it stand out against the environment a little bit. But, I don't know. Uh, but there's nothing really to say. Um, just a, a poor game sold on the back of overblown controversy, essentially. Um, because at least with something like Manhunt, it had a lot of controversy, yes. But it was also a good game. A very good game. This isn't. Um, simple as that, really. Um, that was Hatred. I'm an actual bear. And that's it, basically. Uh, bye, I guess. <laughs>